What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 15, or no, Route 11, and we took care of business right there. Figured out that Meloetta is not a right Pokemon for our team right now, since, you know, it's a traded Pokemon. And, well, we're going to be going straight to the SSN. Now, I just came out of the Pokemart. You know, bought myself a few good items because, yeah, I do not want to go in this unprepared. Now, let me see. Do I have my Pokemon all? Yes, okay, so everybody's nice and ready, you know, ready to go. We're going to be going into the SSN, and we're going to be taking care of business right here, guys. Yes. Now, here we are, the SSN. We're going to be battled by a lot of Pokemon trainers right here, so I don't mind, you know. Switching up the Pokemon. This is all to train them up just to get uh, get ready for Misty. And well, this guy travels along with his uh, with his Pokemon right here, cranky old man. And well, here is a gentleman wanting to battle us, and he's coming out with his Darumaka. And I I I, I figured something out here, guys. Uh, what was it? The, the sprites don't necessarily match the voice, and I thought that, you know, like, okay, well, just because we're using a specific, like, they're, they, well, I thought the Pokemon replaced, basically replaced the, the, the Pokemon, um, how should I explain it? The Unovan Pokemon replaced a similar Pokemon to the Kanto region, and I realized that there's not a lot of... Unovan Pokemon in comparison to the, you know, the, the whatchamacallit, the, the Kanto region. So in this game right here, they're actually replacing the specific Pokemon these trainers have. This guy, of course, has two Growliths. Played this game so many times that, you know, <laughs> makes sense. And, well, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Alright, so we bought ourselves a lot of Super Potions because, yeah, we're going to be facing a lot of trainers right here. And, well, let's see, going down right here, we have another guy with probably, quite possibly, a lot of Growlithe, and he's like, you pup, how dare you barge in? Oh, damn, okay, alright. Anywho, let's go right ahead and take on some uh, gentleman, and yeah, he's going to be coming out with a Purloin right here, Mudslide. Um, let's see what it could do with Bubble Beam. Of course, it's not going to be as fast as this Pokemon, but here we go, Bubble Beam. Bubble Bubble Beam does its thing, and it's not effective, so let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. Now, I hope you guys are actually enjoying, you know, this summer of uh, hacks. I, you know, I never really thought that I would actually be doing this, you know, playing as many hack games as I am right now. But, you know, I'm more than happy to actually provide these for you guys right here onto my channel since, you know, I've been covering a lot of the regular games so far. Many of you guys have, you know, messaged me saying, that, hey, you need to play a hack game, this is and that, you know, spice up the channel just a tad bit. And, well, since this is a perfect summer to get all these hack games out, you know, might as well do it right now. And, well, look at that. Defeated our gentleman. <laughs> rude child. Yeah, we're not really rude, man. We're just very good. Okay. But yeah, it's a perfect summer to do so, guys, especially since we're now finally getting out of this uh, pandemic and whatnot. That and your boy knows how to manage his schedule just a little bit better. And, well, let's see. You know what? We need to switch out Mudslide for Flash. We need Flash to start learning some Electric-type moves. And Elegant and Cozy. This is like, always oh, try with Audino. Now, Audino in this game, too, can, can give you a lot of experience points if you do battle it. So that's another Pokemon that you need to, like, at least find in this game and start battling every single time because you guys already know Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, they're not really easy when it comes to, you know, training up your Pokemon. I think there's only one way you can actually do that and that is, uh, you know, by using the Missing No uh, uh, Cheat, which you guys already know I will be using at some point in time once we get there. And, well, yeah, right now we are not in the best of luck because Flash needs an electric type move. Oh my god. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out the Pokemon. Let's go to Killicroc right here. And, well, there's going to be a lot of switch training. Here comes a Gust attack. And let's go with a Bite attack right here. Does its trick. Say goodbye to P-Dove. 
and everybody else is getting levels and here comes a pro line so let's just continue on right here with Killer Croc now again I am still a little I'm still cross between Killer Croc and Mudslide mainly because of the type of Pokemon you'll get one is a dark and ground type and the other one is a water and ground type in Unova there are not a lot of water type Pokemon you can actually use and you know, I'm, I'm, this is why I'm testing them both out, trying to evolve them and whatnot. Want to have a balanced team, a very, very balanced team. And here we have a Lyperd. Yeah, not a good idea. So here comes a Sand Attack, Thunder Wave. Does oh, it works. Okay, it works against Lyperd right here. So it's paralyzed. Let's go ahead and switch out our Oinkinator. Okay, alrighty. And again, another sand attack. What is it with these sand attacks? It's just getting on my tits right here. So here we go. Low kick. Gets it. Does it. Say goodbye to the light bird. And well, more experience points for all of us. And well, yes, I am great. So let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves the TM08, which is probably body slam. Hold on just a sec. Yes, it is body slam. And you could teach it to just about any Pokemon right here. Toxicity is one of them, Oinkinator, and Kill a Croc. So, what I'm going to be doing right here, guys, it is no secret. Yes, I did say it. I am going to be, like, if the Missing No uh, cheat works in this, I am going to be using that Missing No cheat, uh, cheat to maximize the Body Slam technique because I kind of want to use it on a lot of Pokemon. And then here we have, shh, I'm a global police agent. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. Huh. Okay, Mr. Trail of Team Rocket. Uh, let's see, what do we do? We're going to go into the kitchen. And obviously we're going to be finding some items right here. Nope, nothing right there. Nope, nothing right there. And we found ourselves a great ball, but we don't have no more... Yeah, we got no more space for that. So, let's go ahead and use this Hyper Potion on Flash. And... Well, let's go ahead and grab this great ball right here. Okay. I'm still kind of hoping that the missing note cheat works on this because if it's anything like the Mew glitch, I'm going to be very, very pissed. In fact, I've said it before, guys. I, you know, kind of wish... Okay, so how in the heck does a Muna replace a Mew in the Mew, the Mew glitch? I want to know that. If anything, it should have been Meloda. But I guess the, the the guys who hacked this game, I don't I don't know if they think uh, they thought it through. I don't know. I, I you know I, I can't really speak for them. I don't know what their thought process was. So let's go ahead and switch it out to toxicity right here. Grab this. No more room for items. Good gravy. All right. Uh, HP up. Let's go ahead and give this to. Let's give it a flash. And you know what? Let's go ahead and what is the TM4? Whirlwind, huh? All right, let's see. Let's give it the P Dove. Doesn't doesn't really need to learn it, but you know. Eh, let's give it. Let's replace it with Growl, and there we go. And well, let's see. We have an Ether, a Nugget that we should have sold. This is a Thunder Wave. Not going to teach that to anybody. That's Dig. Should have sent that into the Pokemon Center, and toss this. Yes, we don't need that. Okay, let's grab this. Found ourselves a max potion. And, well, let's see. <laughs> we got the sailors waiting for us right here. My sailor's pride is at strike. Okay, alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. So here we go. Sailor wants to fight. He's coming out with his pampoor. I'm coming out with toxicity. As you guys already know, this guy has evolved in the last few episodes. And... It is a lot more beefy when it comes to its defense, and well, here comes its bite attack. And well, let's go ahead and go with this poison sting so we can get a double. Uh, we can get a double uh, hit on this guy. Come on, oh crud baskets. Okay, so there's a lick attack, and it is paralyzed. Good gravy, and it is poison, so that doesn't feel so good now, huh? Let's go. Let's get this. And there's its poison bite attack. So there we go, double attack, doesn't really matter, but there's that lick attack that just gets on my tits all. Oh god, okay, so here we go. 
And there is a Pampor defeat. And look at that. Toxicity grows to level 17. Coming out with a time pool. Let's go with a P dove right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's go, P dove. Let's get it. A quick attack. P dove, let us never fight. And that supersonic will not work. So let's go again with another quick attack. And well. Yeah, we're, we got one more hit. This guy is hellbent on confusing us, and there it is, a critical hit when we need it the most. And, well, he's coming out with a Frillish. Okay, so this is a new one. Let's go with Killer Croc. Frillish, of course, is a ghost-type Pokemon as well, so... It's another Pokemon that we can use against, uh, well, this Dark Attack, and look at that. Crunch Attack does its thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, it did its thing. It did its thing right there, okay. And, well, before we do anything, let's go ahead and uh, heal our Pokemon. The great thing is that I stocked up on some items that I needed. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a Super Potion. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. You know they say about Sailors about fighting, right? No, not really. Okay, so here we go. Let's take it on a Sailor right here. And, well, let's see. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, let's go right ahead and continue on with, uh, you know, trying to poison a Pokemon right here. Continue the poison type moves and all that stuff. Now, I recently started, uh, I recently started to update my Facebook channel a little bit more, my fan page, guys. Uh, and obviously, some of you guys, you know, you got, you haven't had, a, uh, you guys haven't had a response towards me or anything. But here it is, a little bit of a shout-out. And it is a shout-out to Corey Trotter. Thank you for keep on watching my wa my channels. Or my my videos and all that stuff. Uh, I believe you're currently still looking at Pokemon Emerald and whatnot. So I hope you're enjoying that. Thank you for messaging me. And look at that. Poisoned. So that's a big old shout-out right there, guys. And here comes a Bubble Beam. Yes, Battle of the... Uh... Oh, wow! Critical hit. Hits us pretty badly. Yeah, there is no way we're going to beat this guy in the next turn, so... Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, give this guy a super potion right here. And, well, let's go ahead and get that growl, of course. He's been lowering our attack just a little bit. Relying on poison. Good gravy. Alright. Let's go. Oh, crud! I don't know why I went for a poison sting. It's already poisoned. Yep, alright, let's go bite attack. And here comes that dreaded bubble attack. Holy crap, bubble beam, I should say, and... Yeah, this is how my time pool should be. Stubborn as fuck, and, well... Again, another growl. How many growls has it thrown off at me? Bite attack does its thing. Yes, okay. Alrighty. Let's win. Okay, so that's a victory for us right there. Don't need to... Listen to what this guy has to say. So let's go back right here. Skip away from that. And we got ourselves another ether. Let's go ahead and switch out toxicity for flash. And well, here we go. I like feisty kids like you. Okay, whatever, man. Here we go. Taking on Sailor. And well, he's coming out with his Pampor right here. And, well, again, we're still trying to work for this whole uh, electric-type move. Your electric-type move. Probably should have kept Zippy for a little bit. I don't know, probably. So here we go, bind attack. And it can't move. So let's continue with the speed button. Speed button, speed button. There we go. Look at that. There's no escape from the bind attack. We got to level 18, and still no new move. He's coming out with a new... Well, he's coming out with another Pampor. Let's do the same combination. There we go. Okay, so Flash is really uh, coming into his own right there. Look at that. Okay, so it's a critical hit. Not liking this. Oh, crud. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, God. Oh, God. There it is. One more. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> that Pokemon got lucky. He got lucky. Let's go with uh, Pedov right here. 
Alright, let's go. Quick attack. God, I hate Pampor. And, yeah, this Pampor is, you know, it's moving like it's not paralyzed. There we go. And there's another Leer attack trying to just weaken us. Oh, man, I hate you. There we go. Fully paralyzed. Eat this quick attack. Okay, alrighty, and there we go, another victory, and well, he's coming out with another pound pour, so... Kill a croc it is! Alrighty, okay. Kill a croc, ready to go for the crunch attack right here. And there it is, pound pour, defeated. Okay, alrighty, so... Oh, God. Really, really disappointed in the fact that Flash has... Well, Flash is defeated. And there is another trainer right there. So I guess I'm just going to have to eliminate these guys with, you know, with Oinkinator right here because good gravy. Okay. Here we go. A Sailor Staff Pokemon 2. Okay. Bring it. Let's get it. Sailor wants the battle and coming out with a Frillish. And, well, Frillish, of course, is a ghost type. So let's go with a seismic toss since it is really not like, you know, pure fighting type move. And it's weight based, and look at that. Okay, so it loses a lot. And there's a bubble beam that will hit us pretty hard. And our speed has gone down, but guess what? We are faster than you, so here we go. Another seismic toss. For the win. Oh, yes. And, well, let's go. He's coming out with a Basculin, so let's continue on right here with good old... Oh, wow. Good old mighty Oinkinator. And here comes a Water Gun attack. And, wow. Holy crud. Okay, so... Yeah, we're really risking it right here. Come on, Mega Punch. Good gravy. I really do hate that Mega Punch attack. And so far... Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, we're not going to risk it. We have to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to P-Dove right here. Basculin, of course, is a very, very fast Pokemon. And, well, there is a Tackle Attack right there. Quick Attack will counteract that one. And, well, not there. Okay, all right. This guy's a little strong right now. So, here we go. Quick Attack again. Yes, we're getting messed up right here, guys really messed up and look at this we got ourselves a level 17 all right things are good things are happy things are okay i guess and here we found ourselves a tm44 which more likely is rest i think it is rest yes it's rest okay so i think we can use that on a pokemon right here but kind of don't want to good gravy okay so let's see <laughs> Flash can't uh, can't learn it, so yeah. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Use that. There we go. Oinkinator is back in action right here. And well, let's see. Let's use a super potion for this guy. There we go. And well, let's let's go ahead and heal up all our Pokemon right here. So toxicity, you need some loving too. There we go. Mudslide, you need some love too, even though you haven't done some a lot. And you know what? I'm not forgetting you, Killer Croc, okay? The only person that right now can't do nothing is Flash, even though... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? Screw it. Let's just use the same Pokemon right here. Hello, stranger. Stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, going up against a fisherman right here. And, well, he is coming out with his Frillish. Okay, alrighty. Alright, Frillish. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't affect Frillish, so now I'm kind of screwing myself right here. And, well, let's go Seismic Toss. The Seismic Toss right there will actually do some damage, and we're getting another bubble. May decrease my speed just a tad. Yes, it did, and here we go. <laughs> there we go. Seismic Toss does its thing. Oinkinator grows to level 27. And, well, coming out with a Basculin, not going to risk it. Let's go straight to Kill a Croc right here. 
Okay, alrighty. Kill a croc, meet Basculin, eat this crunch right here. And that takes away Basculin. I'm happy about that one right there, because Basculin are freaking annoying as hell. Continue on with this tie pull. And, well, here we go. Crunch attack does the trick. And we got another victory right there. Okay. He's like, darn. I'll let that one get away. Pretty much did. Okay. So, let's go ahead and switch it to Killer Croc. Because I have a feeling this guy might have a, uh... He must have a basket or a frillish again. Matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. Well, if I lose, will we find that Mew at the trunk? I don't know. Okay, he's got one Pokemon and he's got himself a Scraggy. Okay, so as many of you guys already know, I had a Scraggy on my team in Pokemon Black. And it is a very, very good Pokemon. As you can see, holy crud. Okay, so that right there is... Yeah, I'm not going to risk that. So let's go straight to Oinkinator. Now, Scraggy is both a dark and fighting type Pokemon, but it is weak against its own self, so... We're going to try and do that. Low kick. And there goes a Scraggy. Okay. And that is a victory for us right there. And, well, now that we got Scraggy on our Pokedex, let's go ahead and take a look at where we could find this guy. Now, I'm, I'm just scouting these Pokemon mainly because maybe I just want to use some different kinds of Pokemon and stuff. And, well, wow, all of them you can find near, huh, you don't say, you can find them all near a Cerulean City, or Celadon City, and Saffron and Lavender Town, so... I think I'm, I'm getting a crazy idea. So that right there is done. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on ahead right here. Alrighty, okay, okay. No, we're not going to leave without the cut technique. And, well, let's see. What do we need right here? We need to walk away and go to this area and this is the final area actually it's not the final area god dang it oh this one actually takes us towards the outside so let's go right ahead and go outside we're gonna find some pokemon trainers right there so let's just continue our battle right here ahoy there are you seasick nope i am not seasick now here's the thing don't know. I've never been on a, never been on a cruise ship or anything like that. <laughs> Look at that timber. But I do get motion sickness sometimes. Kind of sucks, but it it's true. It's kind of true. Now, if I do get motion sickness going up a hill or something like that, maybe just maybe I might get you know I might get uh, seasick or something like that. Who knows? Depends and all that stuff. Not going to find out. Don't want to find out. And here we go, Frillish wanting to battle, so let's go with a crunch attack. There we go. And no more no more Frillish right here. So that is done right there. And well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Now it's been Yeah, it it has been the Oinkinator and Kill a Croc show, so let's go ahead and see if this guy wants to battle. Nope, he feels ill. Stepped out for some air. This is the guy that wants to battle. Nope, he doesn't. That's the guy. Okay. Hey, matey. Let's do a little jig. Don't know what that means, but okay. Whatever you say, homie. Here we go. Battling up against a sailor, and he's coming out with his uh, mudflat Pokemon a ti or a timber. All right. Here we go. Gust attack. Okay, look at that. Okay, and... Oh, they're going to go for low kicks. Not liking it. So here we go. Gust attack. And, oh wow, this Pokemon is low kicking us right in the nuts. We survive. Let's go one more quick, or one more gust attack right here. And that one right there was a fight for its life. He's coming out with a time pull. Let's continue with toxicity right here. Now... Oh, man, I, I, I really do think that I'm going to... Oh, crud. Yeah, we're getting hit pretty hard right here. Should have come up with a bite attack. Okay, so... I really do... I really... I really do want to have a balanced team and all that crud and 
damn it. Okay, so here's a super... Yeah, okay, so look at that. It just messed with us. In this game right here, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of feel like in Kanto, you need to have the most balanced team to go up against, you know, the eventual Elite Four champion, which is, you know, your your rival. And this guy is messing with us right now. And, oh, crud. Let's go Seismic Toss. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this. And... Seismic Toss nearly beats this guy, so here we go one more time. Seismic Toss for the win. Oh, yes. Okay, so our Pokemon are getting this work right now, which is good. It's good. It's good. And like I was saying, uh, I think... I don't know. Like, I keep on talking about the, the type of team that I'm, I want to have, and it seems like to me that, you know, I... Well, I think I already have a nice idea who I'm gonna who I'm gonna pick. I mean, in this game too, like it, there's more, there are more dragon type Pokemon too. So I would assume that you'd you'd actually find a dragon type here here and there. So we'll see what ends up happening. Let's see. So what's next right here? Gonna be moving on, going into the deck right here. Finally finishing up this whole place. Don't know why they make this so long. And, well, let's see. Here is this Traveler. In all my travels, I've never seen this Pokemon sleep like this one. And he shows us Tornadus, the Cyclone Pokemon. Thunderous. Holy crud. And, well, he doesn't show us Landers. Okay, so we got two new pages onto our thing. And it would seem that... I, I'm kind of getting the hint that... The replacement for Pokemon or for Snorlax is going to be Thunderous and uh, Thunderous and Tornadus. Now, Landris is a different story. I think in Pokemon Black and White, I've never done this before, but you actually have to have both Pokemon on your team in order to get Landris. And again, well, like you know, obviously the, the both these Pokemon are version exclusives. So, wonder how it would work right here. Wonder. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how it would work in this version right here. So what would what would replace the three legendary birds? I'm I'm actually assuming it's the legendary fighting trio, the the three uh what was it, Verizon, Terrakian, and uh, what was the other one? Completely forgot. <laughs> Completely forgot the name of it, but yeah, I think that's what it is. And here we have a Frillish. Let's see, okay, so if that's the case, then what replaces Mewtwo? Hmm. You see, this is what this is what really intrigues me about this game right here. Now, here we have another Basculine, so we're just gonna continue on right here with the, you know, good old Croc Rock. Hmm. Still trying to figure it out, guys. I really am. And look at that. Killer Croc grows to level 32. Trying to learn Dig. Yes, it should learn Dig. Okay, take away Sand Attack. I don't need that thing anymore. Okay, so we have that. And, well, he's all out. And, well, let's see. We got one more thing. And this guy wants the battle. He's like, competing against Young Keith, me youthful. Well, in Pokemon, yeah, but in, like, regular sports, not really. Okay, so here we go. Gentleman wants the fight. Coming out with his Blitzel. Hmm. Kind of thinking that I should probably kept Blitzel or something. Low kick! Sweep the legs. Sweep the leg, Johnny. And, well, there it is. Oh, yes, we win. We win. Okay. Now, what is this item that we're... Okay, we got our Max Ether, which is great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what legendary Pokemon are replaced in this game right here. And, well, fairy Pokemon across the water. Okay, so... Yeah, and then what Pokemon, what Pokemon replaced the legendary? Well, yeah, I already talked about that, but what is the reasoning behind it? There's so many questions I have, guys. Like going into Cinnabar Island, there's probably gonna be like, you know, a book talking about a genetically enhanced Pokemon. Genesect. Holy crap! It's probably Genesect. That's what it is, guys. It's Genesect. Okay, so I just wow, wow. It took me a while. It took me like damn near 30 minutes just to figure that one out. And, well, Darumaka 
looking strong as always, and crud baskets. Okay, here we go. Seismic toss. And the seismic toss does the trick. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Mudslide. Alrighty. Alright. So we got the right Pokemon. I didn't even read what Pokemon we were challenging, but... Oh, here's a Lick Attack, and here comes the Bubble Beam. And it does its trick right there, so here comes a Leer Attack. Bubble Beam, there we go. And say goodbye to Pants here. And, wow, Mudslide is finally winning another match. And let's grab this. Found ourselves a Rare Candy. Yeah, we're going to do it. Screw it. Okay, that's... Let's go straight... Oh, no! God dang it. Well, shit. <laughs> talk about uh, talk about a blessing in disguise. I was going to give that to Time Pool. I really was, and... Well, it looks like we evolved our Pokemon unintentionally. Never mind. Okay, alrighty. Maximum effort. Let's go ahead and give... Tranquil a shot right here. Really wanted, yeah, really wanted, you know, Flash to, you know, awaken and all that stuff. Man, I feel stupid. I really do. Okay, so here we go, going up against Lass, and she is coming out with a patch, right? So let's go right ahead and continue with this Tranquil right here. Look at this. He's looking all mean and stuff. Now, Tranquil is definitely the replacement for PGO, uh, PG, PGA, and Pidgeotto, or, yeah, whatever. Whatever, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, order they're in. And I'm gonna put a Leer on this guy because he is going for a bide. There we go. And quick attack. And that does a nice job right there. Alright, okay. So here comes a Blitzel. Let's go straight for Kill a Croc right here. Okay, alrighty. Kill a Croc. Meet Blitzel, Blitzel, hey, meet the dig attack, and oh wow, it has a quick attack right here, crit, <laughs> crud baskets. Alright, here we go, dig attack does its trick, and say goodbye to Blitzel right here. And, alrighty, so our team's looking pretty good right now, it's just, god dang it. God dang it. Okay, so, yeah, we're not... Yeah, the Safari Zone. I think that's it for all the trainers, the regular trainers that we have to take on. Yeah, it's all for the trainers. Okay, so we don't got, we don't have anything else to do. And <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's go with Croc Rock right here, and let's just uh, see what Gary's all about right here. So here we go. This guy, but you were driven. Imagine seeing you here. Draven, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. The man likes to brag. He really does. Okay, so time to put him in his place, going up against Gary one last time, or again. He's coming out with a Tranquil of his own, and, well, let's go right ahead and go with a Crunch Attack. Look at that. Croc -a rock you're a beast. Eat it, Tranquil. Eat it. And, well, coming out with a Watchog. Let's go for the man, the myth, the legend. Oinkinator right here. The Oinkinator. And look, look, Watchog looking all mean and whatnot. So let's go straight for a low kick. Sweeping the leg, Johnny. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Zerua. We're going to continue on right here. What's up, Zerua? Sweeping the leg to everybody. Oh yes, okay, I'm liking sweeping the leg, and look at that, level 28, and we're trying to learn takedown here, okay, it's a good move, and well, we're going to take away Mega Punch, because I cannot stand missing this, uh, like, as much, as many times as uh, Mega Punch right here, and well, he's coming out with a Duat, let's go, ah, screw it, let's go with the same Pokemon right here, so here we have Duat. And let's go with that takedown attack that we just learned. And that's a good move right there. Now, we're actually risking it with the water gun. And, well, let's see. Duh. Okay, takedown attack does its trick. Say goodbye to Duat. Alrighty. Okay. 
Okay, and okay, we have raised our Pokemon properly, so now we... Yeah, the Cupmaster is on board, he's a little seasick old man, but Cut is very useful. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's go right ahead and talk to the seasick old man right here. We rub his back, he's feeling sick. How are you a captain if you get seasick? I, I'm, I'm trying to figure that one out. Okay, so yes, please give us a t the cut technique, and yes, we will take that, and look at that. We get ourselves the HM01, which is cut, and there is one thing to it, though. We can't use it right now because we don't have badges. We only have one. So what is going to happen in the next two episodes is we are going to literally get our last two badges, that way, you know, we can move on ahead and all that crud and then maybe just use some different Pokemon and whatnot. So, alrighty, so we're done right here. And, well, we're trying to get out of here. Come on, man. Time to get out. Let's get it. And say goodbye to the SSN. Now, I would try the whole, you know, see what's, see the whole, you know, uh, truck that's in this area right here. But I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. I don't know. I don't think there's going to be like anything special under that that whole uh, truck right there. So that is pretty much it for this one. We are going to be going into the next episode nice and stacked, ready to go. Um, hell, I might even get, I might, I might even bring a few Pokemon here and there just to uh, combat this uh, this uh, misty character right here. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode when we take on Misty, the Cerulean City gym leader. See you guys.